All right, guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over three different models of aquarium plant lights that I have had great results with, and I can actually recommend to anyone else out there if you're in the market for a light. And I would say that these are not going to be your budget lights. They're not gonna be cheap lights. Um, they are gonna be on the higher end of the price tag, but what you're gonna get in return is some adjustability and some other features that I think are really worth um, that extra price tag. All three of these models are actually going to be um, of the same brand, and I realize this is gonna sound like a sponsored video, but please trust me, it is not a sponsored video. Um, with that said though, I will have affiliate links to Amazon in the description below. So, you know, if you do feel like you want to purchase one of these lights and you want to help support the channel, if you click on that link and buy through that link, then I will get a small commission from Amazon, not from the manufacturer of the light. So let's go ahead and jump into it guys up here is my absolute favorite of the three. Uh, this is a Fluval plant. 3.0, and I believe this is the 24 inch uh, model. This model has three rows of LEDs. Um, it has a, an assortment of different colored LEDs in there as well. And the, the quality of this light is phenomenal. Um, I, I will show you some photos, some close up photos of the quality as well. Um, but you can really feel in the construction of these lights that they are not cheap. They're built to last, and I would say that all of the Fluval lights that I have had have lasted. Um, for example, I actually have the predecessor to this model out in my aquarium plant farm, and that one's been going strong for probably six years now, and I'm still using it to this day. It's blasting lights currently, or blasting plants currently as I speak. So one thing that you will be paying for uh, when you buy these lights is quality. Um, again, this one has three rows of lights and it's going to throw pretty high par values. Uh, I should mention that all of these lights are fully um, customizable um, down to each individual color of LED light. And you can control them with your smartphone, which is probably the number one most important reason as to why I like these lights is you use your smartphone, you have an app, you connect to these lights and you can adjust the photo period and photo intensity on down to the intensity of each specific color of LED. So again, I have this light on 50% intensity for this aquarium and that's because this is a rather shallow aquarium it's a 20 gallon long so it's only i believe 12 or 13 inches tall uh, so if i had it on full intensity this would probably produce a bunch of algae for me so i just have it at 50 percent and then i have it running for six hours per day and again <laughs> the customizability here is amazing so the first hour it ramps up from zero percent intensity up to 50 percent and then it holds at 50% for uh, four hours. And then it, over that last hour, it will ramp from 50% intensity back down to 0%. And then I have a one hour moonlight phase, which is um, nothing for the fish or the plants. I just do that for my own benefit. Um, so the light goes off at 10 p.m. And then I have that one hour moonlight phase, which is the blue LED lights are on at 5% intensity just so that I can uh, you know, enjoy the blue colors of these Cardinal Tetras uh, between 10 and 11 o'clock at night, which is typically about the time that I, I go to sleep at night. So I can enjoy them um, before I go to sleep. And then the lights are fully out dark until they come up, um, you know, start to ramp back up again the next day. So definitely, I mean, between the quality of these lights and the adjustability with the app, uh, is pretty much, those are, those are the main reasons as to why I have stuck with Fluval lights um, for so long now. Um, so that's this one, the Fluval 3.0 plant light. Um, highly recommended, it comes in a variety of different lengths uh, to suit different sizes of tanks. Now we'll go ahead and discuss the next light, which is, this one is the Fluval AquaSky 2.0. 
and you'll notice that there is just one row of LEDs on this light. So this one is going to be your lower light, um, lower par value light option. Basically, it's the same idea. It's also adjustable through uh, the, the smartphone app, and it's also a very solid light. I believe this is a metal construction. It has adjustable wings on it on either side, as does the 3.0. Um, so same deal, high quality, adjustable, you know, I don't really need to spend too much more time on it, but that one is awesome if you are looking for a lower light option and you don't need that intensity. My personal opinion though would be to go with the highest intensity option because you can just dial it down. So let's say that in the future I wanted to have a 29 gallon tall here. Well, then I could use that same light and I can still get high par values down to the substrate level. So. My personal opinion, get the, intense, the higher intensity because you can always dial it back. Uh, but that said, if you want to spend a little bit less, I believe that the AquaSky is a little cheaper um, because you have less LEDs there. And you know, if you know that you're going to be only having low light tanks, then that's, that could be a great option for you as well. Next up, we have an additional uh, Fluval 3.0 light. But this is just a different model, so I wanted to show you this one. This is the Fluval 3.0 Nano Light, and this also has a you know a rather large amount of LEDs for a small area. So this is going to be throwing some pretty pretty high par values, or at least it has the ability to. Again, you can adjust this light um, using the same app. Quality is also amazing. This has got to be some sort of metal there. The one uh, caveat that I have with this light that I'm not super pleased with is one the price well this the price for the 3.0 um, plant seems reasonable to me the price for this one is a little steep uh, but the quality of the light and the adjustability is there um, as always so i do like the light itself uh, the other thing that i don't like necessarily is this bracket here that connects to the tank um, this is only my understanding is this is only for a rimless tank and most of my tanks are rimmed because I like to have glass lids. Another great option, it's just a bit more expensive um, and doesn't, doesn't suit my style of tank as well. So if you guys wanna pick any of these lights up, again, I will have affiliate links in the description and those are links to Amazon. So if you do purchase through those links, uh, then you would be supporting the channel in a small way and every bit of support really helps. This channel's small, so any, any help I can get, um, you know, is greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one.